Evening Freaks, I'm here to give you a read straight from the hip with lots of lip and I am diving into the what's on deck in December, this time for Capricorn, okay? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mercury, Mars, or a loaded 10th house, three or more planets in that 10th house, stellium, or a really strong planetary placement like the ones I mentioned before. You may find resonance with this message. We're just going to tap into energies. We're going to see what's in store for you all. When I call out signs in the reading, we're looking at any strong placements like those I mentioned, okay? Um, and also, uh, do be aware that roles can be reversed, all right? You need to just take the message as it resonates with you, you know, flip-flop the genders where you need to, all of that, okay? It was funny, it was 55 on the clock when I said that. It's like, yeah, switch it up, change it around, listen to your intuition. Um, know that this is, whoa, okay. <laughs> that was interesting. I had my arcane bullshit um, box fall over and it actually pushed a card forward, so I'm going to take it. Skeleton eating a banana. I wasn't even going to use this deck, okay? I think you need to look at your nourishment, uh, Capricorn. I think this is kind of a theme that's coming up for you uh, throughout this month, throughout December. You know, um, I don't think this just applies uh, to food. I think it applies to everything. And I'm really getting this message that Maybe there was a certain fruit that you thought was really tempting at one time, but when you indulged in it, you found that it didn't really satisfy. I got that song, um, Tempted by the Fruit of Another. It's an old song. It's like a 70s song or something, but I got that message. I feel like something that you thought was really going to fulfill you, ended up not being quite what you thought it would be. It left you feeling a little, you know, depleted, uh, a little empty. Um, and, you know, I just caught this. I mean, it's pretty dramatic, all right, but I'm going to bring it through. Maybe you're feeling a little dramatic. Like, I just heard someone out there in the collective, in the Capricorn collective, said dead inside, okay? I don't know, 2.33 on the clock when I said that. Yeah, I think you're realizing that you need more sustenance, you know, and I don't think it just applies, uh, you know, to food. I think it applies to your relationships. I think it applies to the kind of lifestyle you want to lead. Um, I think it applies to what kind of work you want to do, uh, where you choose to focus your time, your energy. You're, you're tired of just not feeling that fulfillment. That's what I'm getting. You're feeling... Like everything that seemed like it would really pan out to be something just kind of ended up being a little bit empty. And you're looking for something more. You're looking for something more. I think also, you know, sexually, I think you've been really um, looking at this quite a bit. Maybe you're feeling a little starved sexually. Maybe you're wanting a little sexual attention. I also think you need to focus on what you're eating. You know, some of you may... Um, not be eating the best foods. You may need to get more nourishment in. You may need to be eating more fruits in particular. Um, it's interesting because fruits build the ogis in the body. And the ogis is the nectar of life. This is some Ayurvedic talk here, okay? It's what gives us a sense of vitality, of feeling of being full and, and ripe and ready for action, okay? And also, um, oh, that's an interesting message, okay? Also, maybe you've been kind of having just like some casual hookups, you know, maybe you've been just out there kind of playing the field, just having that instant gratification that's not really the soul connection you're looking for and it's left you feeling a little empty, but there's another piece to this when, okay, this is a channel for adults, all right? So if you're under 18, you need to like leave the room, all right? I've said it very said it very clear from the start on this channel. This is a place for adults to come, hang out, talk, drop in. Uh, in Ayurvedic terms, when we're looking at the ejaculate or orgasm, we are also looking at dissipating our ojas stores, all right? And there's certain things that do replenish ojas, mainly those nourishing things like I was talking about, nourishing things that bring you into, into your heart that 
allow the emotions to flow, you know, that have a sweetness to them that are sattvic in quality, okay? So there's like this piece coming in, like get more fruits in. This piece is really coming in. You might be low on digestive enzymes. Maybe you have some experiences you still need to digest that you haven't fully integrated yet. It's all mirrored in the physical body, whatever is going on mentally, emotionally, spiritually, okay? But I feel like you've been kind of like, you've been spilling out your ogis and, and, and spilling out your vitality. And part of why you may be feeling drained is actually because of these uh, sexual connections that you've been having that haven't really been meeting you in the place that you want to be met. It bears mentioning, okay? Uh, there is something here. And there is also this piece of maybe you've been in your head a lot and you notice that when you get your head in, in your head a lot, you can get distracted and you, you forget to do things like you forget to give yourself some food until you're like so hungry, you can eat the paint off the walls. And there's this piece there about, you know, being very mindful of that. Um, I also got a hit uh, before we even started with any of the cards or any of that even happened that... You have somebody that's going to be coming around that you're going to have to make a choice about, okay? Uh, but potentially could be a Gemini. I did see the lover's card come out in your pre-shuffle. Um, this person's going to issue some invitation. Maybe they want to go on some kind of trip with you or something. I feel like this is somebody that's approaching you. There's something about the approach that feels a little bit off to you. You don't quite trust it. I feel like... This is a situation where there's been a lot of empty promises before. I think you feel like there's almost this quality of like um, the spider spinning its web. Like you could easily get really caught up in this. I think there have been times in the past when you got caught up in it. Um, that is interesting. I just got an interesting message that tumbled in. Cat got your tongue. Cat got your tongue. Huh. Oh, okay. All right. Can we kind of have some decorum here? I don't know. I'm picking up a lot of sexual vibe with your reading. Okay. Uh, somebody liked the way you used your tongue. There may be a cat association with this person. Okay. This is coming out. Uh, they're coming around there. There was a sexual connection there. There was a sexual attraction there. I think they also liked um, you maybe were drawn to the way the person talked. Okay, cat got your tongue. That's another way to look at that message. Um, you liked the, the sort of spell they wove with their words and you really bought into it a lot in the past, but I think you found it to be kind of an illusion, you know, at the end of the day. So this is going to be coming forward. I feel like this person's going to be approaching you. They're going to be reaching out to you with some kind of message. Um, I think you need to be very aware of what you allow into your space. We got the Hierophant here, okay? And I really feel like you're looking at your circle and who you want in your circle. Who can you actually lay down roots with and grow something strong with? And I'm looking at like that strong, solid um, bond of connection. You know, people that you know are loyal. You know they got your back. You know they're there for you no matter what goes down. Um, I think you're being a lot more mindful about who you let in. I think when this person approaches, you're going to just, you're going to know that something's up with the moon here. You know, your intuition is going to pick it up first of all, but I also feel like there's something here that you don't trust. And I almost feel like you went through a really major depressive cycle with this person and it was totally related to this illusion that they spun. It actually put you in a real place of conflict and confusion within yourself. You couldn't see things clearly for a while. And now I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself. I feel like you've come into this place of, of healing and integration on a certain level. I think you still get stuck in your head a bit at times. I think you have done some reflecting back on this situation with the Five of Cups. I feel like more you're like looking back at what you lost. Maybe you made a choice before to head in a certain direction and it meant sacrificing something else. And this can be anything, okay? This can be sacrificing a lover. It could be um, sacrificing a job. It could be sacrificing, um, you know, your attachment to a certain social circle. It can apply to anything, 
but there's something that you were really invested in and you had to make a choice, you know, and I think maybe you made a choice and now you're kind of looking back at your choices and thinking, God, I really thought this was going to lead to something that I could really celebrate and I could be happy about. And you're feeling really disappointed about this. I think there's still some stuff to clean out of the attic. I'm getting that. You might actually need to go and clear out your attic. Some of you have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of old memorabilia in your attic. It's sitting in your attic. There's also something that's in one of those boxes that you need to recover. It's something that came from a grandmother. I just got this. She wants you to find it. It, it looks like a locket. And there's something about this locket that if you can have it with you, it, it's almost like a um, like a talisman. It's almost like a, a special a special amulet that that gives you a certain protection, but also allows you to connect with her energy more. This grandmother, ooh, she watches over you a lot, and she really wants you to feel connected. This is somebody's message out there. I got sentience coming in real strong. She's sending roses. She's sending roses. She's seen your tears. She comforts you. She hopes that you feel her around you. Um, sometimes she, um, you might have a feeling at night like somebody tucks you in. Like 11, 11 on the clock when I said that. That's her, okay? So she's, oof, so much sentient. She's around you and she's looking over you, okay? And she's She wants you to remember the wisdom that she passed on to you. She gave you a lot of wisdom. She gave you a lot of pearls of wisdom. She wants you to remember these pearls of wisdom that she had given you because there's something you're not seeing. And that's the kind of love that you really deserve with this Two of Cups. And in order to have this kind of love that you really deserve, you have to first have this like cleansing, this letting go process. Um, they come in on bats, okay? And bats are all about rebirth, all right? So before you can have the rebirth, you have to fully cleanse the old cycle. 11.55 on the clock when I said that. By cleansing things out, you're going to find you come into alignment. A lot, I'm getting a lot with you that there's a lot of like energetic blockage in your home. You're holding on to too much stuff. You're holding on to too much old stuff that has all kinds of associated memories for you from a really difficult time in your life. And it's really about looking at these items and, and asking yourself, do I need to have this stuff around? Because it all holds an energetic charge and that energy is in your home. And there's something about this that's disrupting your peace. It's also kind of like blocking the avenues of manifestation for you. Like... I feel like you've been having this crossroads energy, kind of sitting at the crossroads energy. Yes, look at this. Bottom of the deck, okay? Eight of swords. You've been feeling trapped. You've been feeling stuck. You've been feeling like you're stuck at the crossroads. You don't know which direction you should go. You're all in your head. But it's an illusion. Like, you can move forward anytime you want. But I feel like it's this energy. It's this energy of this stuff that you've held on to. It's sort of like... This is kind of an intense way to put it. It's almost like your home is a mausoleum to a time in your life that is dead and gone. And you really need to like cleanse that energy out. I think once you do, you come across things. In particular, I'm getting in the attic. And in the attic can be, you know, uh, part of what's coming in for that too. I just got uh, Shel Silverstein. There's a light in the attic, okay? So, um there's something about that, like you need to turn on the lights in the attic. You need to turn on the lights in your consciousness. You need to clear your head. You need to uh, allow yourself to kind of unravel some of those knots. But it begins first by clearing out this energy from your environment. I believe it's in stuff, like stuff, you know. There's a lot of things from your former life that you're holding on to that you haven't even touched. You haven't touched it in forever. You need to clear it out. This should be a big focus for you in December. You need to do like almost like a winter cleaning. If you could do a real, you know, at least start on this. Get a start on it um, by winter solstice. You're really going to feel the way this helps support you in kind of also purging those thoughts out of your head. Purging your emotions and having this release that needs to happen. So you can understand that everything that's caused confusion for you, it's that you've taken on too much outside energy. So you can't be in your own space. Once you do this, okay, you're going to know what needs to happen to come into alignment with the one for you. Okay, I do feel like there is love front and center. There's been confusion about how to move forward. 
and there's some tower that needs to fall, okay? There's some awakening that happens. I feel like this is, it's both disruptive, but it's also illuminating. This tower falls, and it's sort of like you misjudged somebody. You had the wrong impression of somebody, and this tower comes to show you the truth. The truth, 15, 15 on the clock, uh, that's six, six energy, okay? And six and six is 12, that's three. So what I'm really getting here is this is related most likely to some kind of third party dynamic, okay? Uh, love front and center on the table. I feel like this is really speaking to love, but it could also be, um, you know, a very close friendship dynamic where there was a third person involved. It could also be, a familial dynamic where there's a third person involved. Somebody in this situation has been misjudged. Somebody hasn't been seen correctly. Um, you're going to see who that is, all right? And it may surprise you who that is that you've seen incorrectly. Um, once this happens, I feel like I got this like mind blown image. Like this tower falls in the consciousness. It's like, it levels everything. You suddenly have a brand new perspective. And this new perspective is what moves you out of that inertia of being, it was 16, 16 on the clock, double sevens, okay? So we're talking, this is alignment with spirit. This is like spirit giving you a wake up call going, you know what? You're, you're looking in the wrong direction. You need to get clear. You need to see people clearly, not seen through uh, your wounds of the past, like the shit you've been through in the past. There is this need, like clear out the old stuff, I'm telling you. And if you got an attic, go up to your attic. You need to go through those boxes. There's some key there. There's something you're going to find there that's um, really going to change your, your whole perception of everything. And there's also um, a big release that comes with it. It opens things up for you. And from there, I see you moving forward. You're going to know where you should set your sights. You're going to know who you should invest in. Um, you're going to know who belongs as part of your inner circle and who's not. This is really coming up for you. And it was 1711 on the clock when I said that. 811, bringing you into that manifestation of alignment with the other one who can really mirror you. And I see you making some kind of genuine offer. This is your energy Capricorn, okay? Um or you may have somebody presenting you with an offer. They may have a strong earth sign energy in their chart. Um, this is a card representing um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? There's some kind of offer that's being made. This is a really slow moving energy, very slow moving energy. Um, I'm picking up more on your end, Capricorn. I feel like and it was 1755 on the clock when I said that. Yes, in order to come into this new cycle, there's still you're still trailing some old energy that you really need to clear out. You need to wrap it up and you need to close it up. And once you do this, then you can make an offer. But I feel like the person that you're going to be making the offer to or the person you receive this offer from in investing in this, there's this understanding that this isn't going to happen overnight. I feel like this is a real slow moving energy. But the thing that's beautiful about the this uh, card, and I almost said Capricorn. So I do feel it's for a lot of a lot of uh, the Capricorn masculines out there. You're making an offer to somebody, and it's something they can count on, and it's something that will grow. But I do feel like there's a lot of desire to have protection around this energy. Do not want to make the same mistakes as the last time with this dragon here. So I think this is going to be a real slow moving energy. Maybe this slow moving energy was something that was resisted by one of the people in this scenario in the past. Maybe now it actually looks appealing. Yeah, I see there is going to be this desire to kind of like, you know, connect drop in, have some conversation, and then, okay, let me have some space. Let me integrate what came forward. I also feel like there's this real need. Do not let outside people in on what's private for you. Like, there's this necessity to stop communicating with so many other people and inviting them into your business. It's causing a lot of problems. I feel like this caused a lot of... um 
a lot of drama in the past with this wands energy. It brought a lot of fire forward. There might have even been some somebody with a strong fire aspect in their chart. You might have been dealing with a fire sign. You know, somebody with a real strong fire placement that uh, really stirred up some problems for you. I think you had to block this energy. Okay, I do. I feel like you blocked this energy out. You realized that if you wanted things to transform, you had to cut this person off, all right? Could have been a queen of cups, okay? That's water sign energy, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I just got this um, impression that you felt like this person reminded you a little too much of your mother, and that's what was a turnoff for you, for, uh, you know... E either side you're on really you know it could be it could be the same for uh you know a, a woman you know with a man she can see her mother and and her her masculine you know it, it can happen there's something in this dynamic or maybe you're like if i if i'm in this situation i'm gonna end up just like my mother you know this piece coming through maybe you didn't like the kind of relationship your mother had maybe your mother uh really struggled in matters of the heart uh, maybe father was absent. Like there's there's some piece here. I just got like abandonment. There's like some abandonment piece here really strong. I think you didn't really feel safe with this person. I see you brought it to a conclusion, okay, with the world card here. And it was, there's that pearl of wisdom that that grandmother brought forward for those of you that that really spoke to. It's like you're cl you close this cycle and you're carrying that wisdom forward, all right? And this is what leads to the transformation in your life. Like I said, this person, though, is going to come out of hermit mode, all right? They've been MIA, they've been hanging back, but they're going to come out of hermit mo mode, and they're going to come towards you with some kind of offer, all right? And I see you refusing this, and you're going to be very um, calculated about this, you know, very discerning with this king of swords energy. You see things as they are. You know what needs to be done. You're not going to get taken down a garden path again. You don't want fantasy. You want something real. And that's what you really realized, like the way you kind of cling to fantasy because it keeps you safer. It keeps you safer than going for something real. Something real is more gritty. You know, it, it requires a bit more of you. It requires that you show up transparent, honest, you know, for the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it, you know, and that you're actively engaged in the growth process. That's what it means to have a real connection. And I think before you were just kind of maybe distracted a little bit by the fantasy and you realize that that fantasy will never be reality. It's not possible in a human experience, you know, but it's once you cut off this energy, you know, I think this person is really watching you. I'm getting that they're probably going to reach out to you online. All right. We've got the page of swords to the, um, to the eight of wands. All right. So some kind of fast communication here. I'm getting love bombing, to be honest with you, coming up with the king of swords to the page of swords to this eight of wands. I'm picking up a love bombing energy, like just hitting up your DMs hard, hitting up your DMs hard after they've been cold for a while. I think you're really going to see through this, see it for what it is. Maybe they know that you're kind of like you're getting over them or you're moving forward and they're having a problem with that. So they want to try to reel you back in. We did have that Gemini energy coming in earlier with the sword sign energy. We got uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So they might have one of these placements strongly aspected in their chart. Really, for you, it could be anybody. We do have, um, you know, uh, air on the board. We got earth on the board. We got water on the board. Um, haven't really seen a lot of fire on the board. So that's kind of interesting. You know, mm, and you hadn't seen them in a while. So maybe they were a fire sign. That's kind of an interesting piece. Let me see if I can get any kind of um, clarification on that. Give me a clarification on who's this person that's going to be coming around uh, to Capricorn that uh, they need to be mindful of and maybe reconsider letting this person back in. Give a clue. Give some kind of identification about who this person may be. I got a core card there. Let's see. Anything else? 
Looks like it might be an earth sign energy. We've got seven of pentacles, okay? So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this is somebody that kept you waiting around a lot. You thought there was going to be some kind of growth here, and it was just like this big waiting game. Big waiting game. I'm going to go ahead and pull out um, some significators, too, from this Kipper deck, because Kipper always goes straight to the point. Gets really specific, and I feel like I want a little uh, specifics in your situation. Any other guidance you can give Capricorn as they move through this month of December spirit? What should they be aware of? What should they know in relation to their situation? What's the best moves for them to make? What should they be live to? What should they be on the lookout for? Okay. We got some courtship going on here. It's kind of interesting the way it comes in, okay? came in like this <laughs> so it's like eh. I think when this comes in you're you're not sure how it will go you're not sure if you should let this in and again you know you're we do see you're considering making an offer yeah change you're not so sure if you want to make this change maybe you've been in a situation with somebody you um, you know, haven't been romantically involved with each other. Maybe you've just kept things friendly. Maybe you're concerned about taking it to that next level. You're not sure if this would be a good change, if this could affect the relationship in a negative way. Uh, I think you're tentative about getting involved romantically again, just in general. I feel like you want to make sure that it's a safe connection. I feel like you're real, like I said, it's that, you know, it's that night of Pentacles energy. You're really going to take your time. You, you don't want to make a rash decision. Yeah, I see when this message comes in, it's going to give you concern. We got message of concern here. Okay, so something about it, like I said, it just doesn't feel right. Something sends your hackles up around this person. You may suspect that they're a thief, that they're just after your money, or that they want to steal away something from you. If this is a friend, you might be afraid that this person that's so-called friend that's wanting to come around, that's always asking about your relationship. I don't know where this is coming from, but maybe they that you have a friend. They're always curious about your relationship. They're always kind of like asking questions. Maybe you're afraid that they're going to like try to drive a wedge between you and your person. Maybe you're afraid they're attracted to your person. Yeah, I think you have this expectation with expectation and toil and labor that this is going to just be more fucking hassle than it's worth. I think I'm really getting this like, I won't be fooled again energy, okay? So the the who, front and center, right? Uh, there's something about this. Like, I'm not going to go down that road again because that's just too much fucking work. I want it to flow naturally. I want it to be easy. I don't want to struggle. I don't want to fight. And I think you've really determined that this is a false person. This is somebody you can't trust. So it seems really like the guidance is like clean up your space, clean up your diet, clean up your thoughts. Okay, do this release work. Um, and it was interesting. It was 2808 on the clock when I said that. And that makes me think of that too, of that partnership. And 808 has been coming up in my readings for a while. And 808 is the Hawaii area code. Okay, so... There might be a Hawaii connection. Um, maybe this person wants to go to Hawaii with you, or maybe you're planning on approaching somebody and saying, hey, let's go on a vacation to Hawaii. Uh, this coming in kind of as a way to cap things off. I think these are all things you're considering. You're considering your options right now, but I think you're going to take your time before you move forward with something. There might be an artist in this picture, somebody who does something creative that you kind of got your eye on. Maybe you've had your eye on them for a while. You're thinking about things. Maybe you might want to send this person a message or this could be the person who's reaching out to you with that message. More clues. Yeah, imprisonment. You know that this is a dead end, all right? So that just gave you more clues. Might be a creative type. They're going to send you a message. You know that, you know, you. it's like you just broke free. You just broke free from this shit. You don't want to feel like you're thrown back in spiritual jail again. I'm getting that really strongly. 29, 29 on the clock when I said that. This is about you letting go of the old shit and what holds you back and making some wiser decisions. 
All right. Yeah, it's time to buck up and and you know, be mature, okay? And and some of you may need to go and talk to a mature man, maybe somebody older, maybe somebody that can give you some guidance and you know that grandma energy came in, so maybe a grandfather energy or maybe a fatherly energy. Um, you know, connect with somebody who can give you a little guidance on this. And there's some kind of gift that comes through. There's some kind of gift that comes through during the holidays. It's a symbol, I believe, of that offer you're going to make. You're going to make an offer to somebody. It's a genuine offer. I think you might symbolize it with some kind of gift, just your intention, what you plan on doing. And um, it looks like something beautiful is going to come through that. Might be a mature man that guides you to do this, okay? Um, interesting. Or might be made to mature man, all right? Interesting uh, reading here. You got some good stuff coming your way. Looks like it's going to be a very interesting time for you with a lot of options and I think this time you're going to choose wisely. <laughs>